can you really reverse type two diabetes, cure it even with just changes in your diet? This is a very important question, especially if you suffer from prediabetes or type two diabetes. You may have seen some news articles lately about people who claim to have done this. Uh, the answer is yes, yes you can. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and I've been helping patients with type two diabetes for over 20 years. But only in the last few years have I been able to help people actually reverse, cure, get rid of their type two diabetes permanently. And I wanna share with you in this short video exactly how it's done. There's more and more research being published showing just this thing, that it is possible to fix your type two diabetes with diet. There's a recent study by my good friend, Dr. David Unwin from the UK, where he's actually doing this with his patients in the clinic on a daily basis. Now, as this topic becomes more popular, which it's sure to do, there's gonna be people popping up all over trying to sell you a type two diabetes reversal course for $5.99 or a bunch of supplements that you need for just $99 or some other product that they're claiming that you need in order to reverse your type two diabetes. And heads up, none of that stuff is necessary. You don't need to spend a penny extra to completely cure your type two diabetes with diet. So I wanted to just break this down very simply for you so that you can do it at home. You can actually start today, right now. You can start to reverse your type two diabetes. So there are basically three macronutrients in all the food we eat. There is fat, there is protein, and there are carbohydrates. Now, fat does not raise your blood sugar at all when you eat it. Protein raises your blood sugar a little bit, but not much. And carbohydrates, those are the things which are basically long chains of sugar. They spike your blood sugar. And when you're eating multiple meals a day with too many carbohydrates, you're gonna have high blood sugar all the time. And this is gonna glycate or gum up all the cells and tissues in your body. And doctors actually check this with a test called a hemoglobin A1C. And this is the test that most doctors use to diagnose and to follow and to manage type two diabetes. So we've already established that fat doesn't really raise your blood sugar at all. So it's not involved with type two diabetes. Protein raises it a little, but it's, it's necessary. You have to eat protein to build all the different structures of your body and it doesn't raise it that much. So doesn't it make common sense that if you wanna get, get your blood sugar back down to normal, get your A1C back down to normal, that's the definition of reversing type two diabetes, then you wanna eat a diet that's much lower in carbohydrates than the diet that you were eating that gave you type two diabetes to begin with. Now, there is a degree of genetics that increase your risk of becoming type two diabetic, but this is just, the, the, the genetics is just putting bullets in the gun. The genetics never pull the trigger. It's your diet that pulled the trigger that made you a type two diabetic. Your gut microbiome may play some unknown small role in this as well, but we know for a fact that when you eat too many carbohydrates for your personal physiology, that you will raise your blood sugar. And if it stays elevated for long enough, you will develop type two diabetes. So what do you need to do? So the first step is to eliminate all sugars from your diet, all grains from your diet, and vegetable seed oils from your diet. Remove all these things from your diet. And you're gonna add to your diet more red meat, more seafood, and more eggs, always with the yolk, because remember the fat in the yolk does not raise your blood sugar. So the question then becomes, well, how many carbohydrates total should I eat a day in order to cure my type two diabetes? And the answer is, it depends. And so I talk about the, uh, my way of eating as a proper human diet. And indeed it has helped thousands of people cure their type two diabetes. And so at the bottom of the screen, you'll see this uh, line, okay? now. Some people who are very young, very metabolically healthy, they can get away with eating 100 total grams of carbohydrates a day if the majority of these carbohydrates come from vegetables and berries and maybe a few fruits. Uh, 
some people have to turn down their carbohydrate intake to 50 total grams a day, some to 20, some to zero. I used to have prediabetes and I used to be severely obese. And I reversed both of those conditions by following the exact information that I'm giving you for free in this video. So if you're young and metabolically healthy, then calculate how many carbohydrates, total carbohydrates, not net, uh, food manufacturers and supplement manufacturers love to talk about net carbs because it helps them sell products. But what you want to count is total carbohydrates in every bite of food that you eat. And if you come up with a number like 150 total grams a day, 200, 250, 350, some people out there, you know who you are, then you want to turn down that carbohydrate intake to 100 total grams of carbohydrates a day. Now, you don't even need those 100 grams, but Many young people can tolerate 100 total grams of carbs a day. So I want you to eat that diet. And so you're going to eat until you're comfortably stuffed. You're not going to portion control. You're not going to calorie count. You can eat three meals a day or you can eat two meals a day. Because if you do eat two meals a day, then that increases the amount of time that you're fasting each day. And that's going to help you cure your type 2 diabetes even faster. But if you want to start with three meals a day, that's fine. And you want half of your plate covered with meat and eggs with the yolk, fatty meat preferably. And then if you want some veg, that's fine. If you want a few nuts, a few berries, that's fine. That's 100 total grams of carbs a day. Do that two or three times each day. Do that for 90 days and then go back to your doctor and say, hey, doctor, I need you to recheck my labs. I have changed my diet. I want you to check an A1C and a fasting insulin. You'll want both of those numbers. And if your doctor doesn't understand why you need the fasting insulin, I have a book that I linked down in the show notes called Common Sense Labs that will explain it to you. And then you can explain it to your doctor. Then your doctor will order the damn test. Okay. So if that 100 total grams of carbs a day, if it got your A1C and your fasting insulin down to normal levels, congratulations, you have cured your type 2 diabetes. And as long as you keep your diet on the proper human diet spectrum of less than 100 total grams of carbs a day, you'll never develop type 2 diabetes again. Now, some people have to go down to 50 total grams of carbohydrates a day. And so if, if after 90 days of the 100 total grams, you still have an elevated A1C uh, and still have an elevated fasting insulin, then that's not low carb enough for you. So you're going to go down to 50 total grams of carbs a day. Now let's take a minute and talk about the A1C test. So the A1C test, is, it checks a three month average roughly of what your blood sugar has been running 24 hours a day for those three months. And so if you're A1C is 6.5 or higher. That's the def definition of type 2 diabetes. You have type 2 diabetes. Now, in, in UK units, that's 48. So if it's 48 or above, you have type 2 diabetes. If your A1C is above 5.6, so if it's 5.7 up to 6.4, that's pre-diabetes. So many of you guys, after eating 90 days of less than 100 total grams, you won't have type 2 anymore because it'll be less than 6.5. So the, the 5.7 translates into a 39 in the UK units of measurement. So after 90 days of the 50 total grams, go back and get an A1C and a fasting insulin. If they're both normal, hot damn, you fixed it. You cured your type 2 diabetes. And as long as you eat 50 or less total grams of carbs for the rest of your life, you'll, it'll never come back. If, however, that improved your A1C, which it most certainly will, but it didn't fix it completely, then you may need to turn it down to 20 total grams of carbs a day. Many people have to do this in order to cure their type 2 diabetes. And so you're going to just decrease the carbohydrate containing veg and fruits and berries and nuts, and you're going to increase the fatty red meat, the seafood, and the eggs with yolk to make them a higher percentage of your diet. And so you're going to eat 20 total grams or less of carbohydrate a day, and you're going to do that for 90 days. Then you're going to go back to your sweet doctor and say, hey, check an A1C and a fasting insulin. Let's see where we are. And for the vast majority of people, this is going to be the 90 days where you wind up with a normal A1C and a normal fasting insulin. There are, however, a few people like me 
who any amount of carbohydrate is too much carbohydrate for mine and perhaps your personal physiology. And I have to eat as close to zero grams of total carbs a day as possible in order to keep my belly where I want it to be, which is not done lapping over my belt, in order to keep my A1C where I want it to be, in order to keep my fasting insulin where it needs to be for me to live a long, healthy life. And so for those of you like me, then you're gonna eat a carnivore diet. That's what that's gonna wind up being. It's gonna be fatty meat, it's gonna be seafood, and it's gonna be eggs with the yolk, and that'll make up 100% of your diet. Now, if you're eating that low in carbohydrates, you can certainly get by with two meals a day because the fat and the protein are very satiating. You're not gonna have to eat three meals a day, and that's also gonna increase the amount of time that you're intermittent fasting each and every day, which is gonna help get those numbers down even quicker. So at the end of that 90 days, you're gonna go back to the doc one more time and say, okay, my friend, check it again, A1C and fasting insulin, and let's see where we are. Now, for probably 95% of the population, that's gonna be it. You, you're gonna cure your type two diabetes at that point. For a very few people, they may have to do the carnivore diet for a hundred and uh, for, for 90 days. They may have to do it for uh, 180 days. They may have to do it for 270 days to give their metabolism time to heal. But this having this spectrum, this proper human diet spectrum of carbohydrate intake, I think is a very powerful tool and a very simple tool to understand. If, if the amount of carbohydrates you ate in the last 90 days, if that's still too much, turn it down. And when you've done that enough times, you will have cured your type two diabetes. Now there's a very, very few of you people out there who have actually been misdiagnosed by your doctor. You, you were told that you had type two diabetes, but what you actually have is type one diabetes or LADA. And the way you'll know that is when you check that fasting insulin, it will be zero or essentially zero, meaning that your pancreas is not making any insulin. Now you're starting to see why that, that fasting insulin is important. If it's running really high, that means you're still eating too many carbohydrates for your personal physiology. But if it's zero, then you're a type one diabetic and you're gonna have to inject insulin to ever get a normal A1C. So if you were able after your 90 days to reverse and cure your type two diabetes with 100 total grams of carbs a day, uh, congratulations, also we're all jealous of you because many of us can't eat that many carbohydrates or we'll start to develop prediabetes again. If you had to cut it down to 50 or even 20 total grams of carbs, then what you're eating is a ketogenic diet. And I've got over a hundred videos on this channel explaining exactly how to eat a ketogenic diet, what you can eat, what you should avoid. And I'll link down to my Keto 101 playlist down in the show notes. For those of you who want to get your type two diabetes cured even faster, or you're one of those like me who has to eat zero carb, that's called a carnivore diet. And I actually have over 50 videos about the carnivore diet on this very channel. I'll put a link to my Carnivore 101 playlist down in the show notes. And that way for free, uh, hopefully it's a bit entertaining, you can watch those videos and learn exactly how to keto right or how to carnivore right in order to cure your type two diabetes. And what you will discover on this journey is not that there's something wrong with you or that you're broken or that your genetics are messed up. What you're gonna find is that you were just eating too many carbohydrates for your personal physiology. And those carbohydrates were acting as a slow poison that were gumming up your cells and tissues, making them not work properly and increasing your risk for lots of devastating chronic diseases up to and including heart attack and stroke. Now, if your doctor just refuses to order the A1C every three months like you're asking for, you can actually check your A1C at home. I don't know of a fasting insulin test at home, but there is an A1C test that you can do at home. I'm gonna put a link to this high quality one down in the show notes, just in case your doctor's being a little contrary. Hope this video helps you cure your type two diabetes. This is Dr. Barry, I'll see you next time.